So there are various ways of moving to Canada, and one of these is through a study visa. Before we get into the how you can actually go about it, hit the like button, guys. Let's get this video to 500 likes. You already know it's going to be good. So you get your study visa, you work, then you get express entry. So if you get a program, a degree program, which is at least two years, afterwards you can get a three-year work permit. It's called a post-grad work permit. And uh, basically with this, the advantages of this is that during your studies, you can actually work 20 hours a week during the school term. Then you can actually work full time during authorized breaks, you know, such as, you know, their long summer breaks as well. But however, when you are doing this, you need upfront fees or you need to show that you can pay. And you also need sufficient funds, you know, for your stay, right? Usually about 10000 uh, US dollars depending on your family configuration obviously this will differ from person to person but the good thing on a study visa guys that you can actually bring your spouse along so you can bring your whole family bring your spouse and they can actually get an open work permit and they can work for any employer inside Canada which is quite great so you can help each other with regards to you know, to bills and the likes, right? And so after your studies, you know, you apply for this three-year postgraduate work permit. You know, it's open to, it's an open work permit. You can work for any employer in any occupation. But however, the thing, the best thing to do or the strategy here is that you want to work in a profession which is actually a skilled profession so that you can then apply for express entry you know which express entry is basically when you apply for an invitation so that you can an invitation to apply for permanent residency that's what express entry is so as i'm saying guys here the good thing here is this right when you move to canada you can move on a work on a, on a study permit so if it's a if you're a family one person can apply for for, for studies, you know, genuinely apply for studies. If that's what you want to do, you can apply for studies. Then your spouse will get a work permit, right? And they can then sort out their own routes to get a more permanent stay in Canada as you are finishing your studies, as you then get your three-year postgraduate visa, then you then apply, you know, for express entry. So guys, that's very important at the end of the day. So it's one of the ways that one can actually use to actually get to Canada as a family. And the good thing is you can work. Of course, you're going to need money for fees. But the good thing is you can work. You can work uh, during the school term. You can work during the, the normal uh, holidays full-time. Your spouse can work full-time as well in their occupation and progress in that as well. So it's quite a robust visa at the end of the day, quite a robust visa, which I would encourage people to actually use if that's the route that they want to take. So guys, if you like more of this content about careers and business, binge watch all our other videos. Cheers, bye-bye.